When I look in the mirror, I see my mom. Even it's like these little things that we do that we don't really pay attention to, they're actually going down and passing down through generations. Oh, wow. I would always watch my mom. I would put on makeup just like her. I would do my updos. I just thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. And I want to be just like her. <laughs> when I look at my daughter, I see all the women that I came from. My mom would always tell us that we can do or speak or look however we want as long as it feels true to ourselves. It's the best way I can express myself okay. is through the way I live. <laughs> Things have changed so much. You know, when I was growing up and, and my Mother's Day, we used to go to the salon. It was a big deal to get your hair done. If you had a child, you had to learn how to straighten their hair. And if you let them go to school looking messed up, people would talk about you. Green, your hair's red, remember? The times have changed. And I think now society is kind of allowing black women to just wear their hair as it grows out of their head. Values change, what goes in style changes, but you yourself, you don't change. 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, I want them to be authentically them, and that's always gonna be reflected in their hair. And I want them to be proud, however they choose to style it. I don't think beauty comes in any one package. I think God made hundreds of thousands of flowers, and I think they're all beautiful, and I think God made hundreds of thousands of women, and I think we're all beautiful. Do you want a graphic liner? Be the perfect little American girl, the American dream. They want you to look like the American dolls. Fuck that. How I look isn't about rebelling against anything, it's just about becoming who I am. Part of my wish when I was my teenage, and I wish I would like to help kids. And now I become a grandma. I'm so happy for myself. When I look at my mom's skin, I feel the presence of my family in Thailand and my ancestors and her mother, who I never met. You put the turmeric, you put the honey. Yes. Okay. Like this. Let's see, like this. I feel most beautiful when I am able to help another person. Everything starts from the inside. It's a sense of a loving feeling. My favorite part of my body would have to be my hands. Not from an outward appearance, but because of the given part. My hands yeah, never stop <laughs> giving, and I like that about myself, and I like that my children share the same thing. <laughs> I believe beauty does come from within. We need to learn from the inside out how to take care of everything, ourselves and other people. If you can accept yourself as soon as you wake up and accept that this is who you are and this is what you look like, whether you have makeup on or not, that's the same person and that is beautiful. That's what beauty is to me, being able to accept every version of yourself.